What is good, YouTube? I decided to make an eight-man bracket of every champion in the UFC, and we can find out who is the best champion in the UFC. First, we're going to look at this. I like to put the damage up. I'm testing it. I put it at 30 because there's usually a lot of decisions in these. I put the striking frequency up. It's on legendary difficulty, and we're just going to get straight into the bracket. If we take a look here, I'm just going by the weight classes. We're going to put heavy, like the highest, the lowest, and then it just like keeps going down from there. We got Jones versus Pantoja. Duplessis versus Volkanovski and Edwards versus Makachev. Anyways, let's get to the first fight. All right, in the first fight of the day, we got the heavyweight champion, John Jones, taking on the flyweight champion, Alexandre Pantoja. This fight started off fast. They were trading shots. John Jones started to throw some spinning stuff and finally knocked him down with an uppercut and a hook. He knocked him down. John Jones tried to follow him to the ground. He tried to ground and pound. Pantoja sweeps him straight into top mount, and then he goes for the arm bar. After trying to get it a couple times, he wasn't able to get it. John Jones got his stam all the way down, and then finally he was able to reverse position. It would have to take a lot more than that to take out John Jones, but anyway, soon John Jones does let him up after a couple ground and pound shots. Pintoja's game plan was definitely to get this fight in the ground. He tries to shoot a takedown, he gets stuffed. John Jones hits him with an uppercut, a spinning bat fist, and knocks him down. Got some hurt badly. He tries to go for the ground and pound finish, but Pintoja survives. John Jones, he was able to get into top mount, and then basically for the rest of the round, he was just laying down a whole bunch of ground and pound shots that was hurting Pantoja back to back to back. And after a minute of elbows straight to the face, Pantoja had enough, and eventually John Jones would get the finish. John Jones moves on to the next round. Next fight, we got the middleweight champion, Drakus Duplessis, taking on the featherweight champion, Alex Volkanovski. Volk throws a 1-2, and Drakus Duplessis hits him with a four-piece combo, knocks him down. He clenches up, and he just starts letting punches go. Drakus isn't going to stop the pressure. He goes head and then straight to the body, and then he lands a kick that knocks him down. But And it's not one of my tournament videos without me missing a clip. Drakus did have enough of kissing his coach. And instead, he gave Volkanovski the kiss of death. All right, that moves Jerkis to the next round. Now in this next fight, we got Shama taking on bantamweight champion Sean O'Malley. Fight starts out, nothing too crazy, but Pereira does land a three-hook combo that does hurt O'Malley's eye. O'Malley comes in, he throws a blind kick. Pereira makes him pay for it with two right hands that sits him down. I think he's just saving the left for later. O'Malley wasn't going to let Pereira have his wife this time, so he tried to hit him with a one-two, a spinning elbow, but he gets hit with an elbow, an uppercut, and a left hook that sits him down badly. Pereira, he does surprisingly follow him to the ground. He tries to let some ground and pound go. But after a minute in O'Malley's guard, O'Malley was able to lock in an armbar. O'Malley does almost get this armbar done, but Pereira, he was able to slip out of it, the armbar. And after two strikers that never hit the ground are playing the ground game, O'Malley takes his back. He keeps him there for like about 40 seconds. Pereira, he reverses him, and then he eventually lets him up about time. And they both end the round looking good, like Macy Barber versus Alexa Grasso, you know. Mm -mm -mm. O'Malley, he doesn't glove touch, gets smashed by a left hook. Pereira walks him down. And then he goes in, he sits him down with a straight right. And then he has him nearly finished. Pereira goes in for the finish, goes to top mouth, starts letting some strikes go, but O'Malley was able to survive. Pereira made the same mistake trying to play the ground game with O'Malley. O'Malley eventually ends up reversing him. O'Malley, he does keep him there for almost a minute, but and then Pereira goes ahead and he reverses him again. But Pereira, he's not good on the ground either, so O'Malley goes ahead and he takes his back. O'Malley does get him into the top mount, and then he tries to let some strikes go, but Pereira does move out of the way of the elbow, not too much damage, and then he does get up eventually. Now they're on the feet where Pereira's most comfortable at. He's tired of the left hands. He finishes him with the right. All right, next round looking good. Shama, okay, now we got Leon Edwards taking on Islam Makachev. No glove touch. Leon hits him with a jab. Islam hits him with a straight and an uppercut. Leon Edwards, he goes for a question mark kick and he wobbles Islam. Starts going crazy with the elbows and the knees. And that makes Islam remember all the training in Dagestan. He remembers he got to shoot. He's not supposed to stand up. As good as he is, he's not supposed to stand up. He goes ahead. He's shooting takedowns back to back. Leon stuffing them. Hitting him with more elbows and knees. Knocks him down. Gets him to the ground. But Leon forgets this is where Islam wants to fight. He goes ahead. He reverses Leon Edwards. But I guess Leon wants to fight here too because it doesn't take too long as he goes ahead and he goes in and he goes ahead, locks in a Darsh choke against Islam. 
But Islam, he's too good of a grappler. He's just going to go ahead, move to the left, get out of this position until he goes into north-south. And after some time on the ground of not much happened, and Leon Edwards, he goes for a leg, but instead he pushes off Islam and he stands up. But Islam, he doesn't want to fight here. He clinches up. Leon reverses it, hits him with more knees and more elbows. And Islam, he will not stop shooting. He gets hit by a 1-1-2 and a kick. He tries to end the round clinching, but instead he gets knocked down by a three-piece. But Islam, he almost forgot he could stand too. They go ahead, they try to trade overhands, and then yeah. Alright, let's take a look at the semifinals matchup. We got heavyweight champion John Jones taking on Drake's Duplessis and light heavyweight champion Pereira taking on Leon Edwards. Now we're looking at it. Heavyweight champion John Jones, middleweight champion Drake's Duplessis. They're both looking at what they want to be so bad. John Jones really wants that white and Drake's, he wants the black. Okay, so they're going to go ahead, trade combos. John Jones, he tries a jump kick, which just didn't go well at all. Drake is hits him with a Superman punch and a leg kick and rocks him. If John Jones doesn't want to fight on the feet, he's going to take it to the ground. He shoots a double leg, gets him to the ground. He lets some elbows go. He rocks your Drickus. But Drickus, he ain't too bad on the ground either. He doesn't let John Jones pass. He goes ahead and he rolls for a leg lock. And he surprisingly does a great job at it. Is he actually locks it in and he almost gets John Jones out of there. But John Jones does survive for now. John Jones survives, but he got a hurt leg. And Drickus lets him up after just locking in his submission, but I guess he knows what he's doing because he hits him with a huge overhand and some uppercuts that sits him down. He goes to the clinch. He lets some strikes go, but he must just fight on the ground. He locks in a guillotine. He pulls him to guard, but John Jones does a great job. He reverses this into a Von Flu choke. He had Drickus in some real danger, but Drickus was able to slide out of it. Like his coach, but John Jones, he goes ahead, tries to go to side control, but instead of laying down some elbows, he goes ahead. He locks in an arm triangle. Drickus tries to get out of it, but John Jones doesn't let him. He goes ahead. He locks it in. Almost makes Drickus tap out, but he barely survives. With a minute left on the round, and John Jones keeps him there for the rest of the round to end off round one. That brings us to round two. Drickus does start off pretty high. He lands a huge right hook that rocks John Jones. And Drickus is going to do what Drickus is doing. He got you hurt. He's really going to go for it, but John Jones does a good job. And of he kicking has Drickus his leg out. And he lifts it backwards. Drickus tries to slip to the body, but John Jones really uses it to set up a takedown. He shoots a double leg, gets Drickus to the ground. He's going to move to side control. And John Jones gets him in real trouble as he's going to look for a Kimura. But instead of trying to go for the Kimura, but he didn't like the Kimura, so he goes ahead. He gets the top mount, lands a huge elbow that rocks Drickus. At this point, he knows he has Drickus hurt. He postures up. He lets some more strikes go, rocks him, goes for the arm part, and finishes Drickus Duplessis. In round two. On the other side of the bracket, we got the light heavyweight champion, Alex Pereira, taking on the welterweight champion, Leon Edwards. Not much happened in this fight. I'm going to just let you watch. Now, in the final matchup of the day, I just noticed all the bigger weights were winning. So, now we got the heavyweight champion, John Jones, taking on the light heavyweight champion, Alex Pereira. Starts all hot with a front kick and a straight right that sits him down. John Jones goes for a body jab, but instead he eats a front kick. John Jones goes ahead, shoots a double leg, but gets stuffed. And then they trade a body straight and a body jab. In a jab, then John Jones lets a spinning kick to the body. Poton lands a nasty front kick spinning side kick combo that sits down John Jones, follows him to the ground. I don't know why because John Jones just goes ahead, reverses him right away as you would think. Jones, he tries to take Pereira's back, but Pereira, he goes in the half guard. John Jones has Pereira right where he wants him. He tries to lock in the arm triangle, but Pereira does survive. And instead of getting this fight back to the feet, Alex Pereira, he decides to take John Jones back. He's going to let some strikes go, but John Jones, he gets out of it. He moves the half guard. He goes ahead, he takes Pereira's back, but Pereira does do a very good job on the ground, and surprisingly, he was able to reverse position. But this fight won't stay here for long. John Jones, he goes ahead, he hits a switch, he uses it to get up, and we only got a minute 40 left in the first round. Poon lands a nice body hook, but John Jones hits him with a knee and a front kick that sits him down. And Jones was feeling real confident after a knockdown. He tries to walk down Pereira and try to do Pereira to Pereira, but Poon, he goes head, body, head, and then John Jones shoots a takedown, gets him to the ground. Pereira, he tries to escape. John Jones doesn't let him. And then he goes ahead. He locks in an arm triangle. Pereira tries to escape again. He doesn't let him. And then he tries to go in and lock in the arm triangle for the finish. But Pereira gets out of it. 
But Poe on, he learned from last time. He's going to go ahead. He's going to let John Jones up just to sit him right back down again at the end of the round with a huge uppercut that sits him down, nearly finished him. And Poe on wasted no time in round two. He hits him with a lead front kick that knocks him down. Jones stands up again, and then he hits him with a right hook, left hook. End of story. All right, YouTube, and that leads us to the end of the video. We put all the champions together, all the bigger weights ended up winning until the last fight. We had the heavyweight champion, John Jones, taking on light heavyweight champion, Alex Poe on Pereira. And Pereira was playing no games. He went ahead, gave John Jones his first L. Not only that, he slept him. And he wins the eight man tournament to make him the best champion in the UFC, Shama.